Hi, this is Ramachandran from OnlineMathForAll.com. This video is about uh, solving difficult problems on indices. In this video, we are going to see how to solve a difficult problem on indices. Here we have a question uh, if x is equal to 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. Uh, we have to find the value of 3x to the power 3 negative 9x. Usually this kind of questions are uh, being asked in competitive exams like uh, GMAT. Uh, and uh, we will have uh, minimum time uh, to solve this kind of problems on uh, competitive exams. Okay, uh, when we see the problem uh, if x is equal to 3 to the power 1 over 3 plus 3 to the power negative 1 over 3, uh, it seems to be difficult. But once we know the trick, uh, this kind of problems can be easily solved uh, within a limited time. Okay, so let us come to know uh, the trick which is involved in solving uh, this particular problem. So the information is uh, x is equal to 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. So the question is to find the value of 3 x, x cube uh, negative 9 x. Okay, so here in the question we have the term x cube. Sorry. We have the term x cube but in the information we have x. So to find answer for 3 x cube ne minus negative 9 x, so we need the value of x cube. So for that, in the given information, we have to take power 3 here. So that is the first step I have to do in the given information. Okay, let me do that. So the given information is x is equal to 3 to the power 1 over 3. Positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. So since I need the value of uh, x cube, I'm just going to take uh, power 3 on both sides in the given information. So my next step will be x cube is equal to 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 whole cube. So I hope now the students will be able to understand why I take power 3 on both sides. So the only reason is uh, we need x cube uh, in the given question. So that is the reason uh, in the given information we have x. Since I need the value of x cube, uh, I just take power 3 in the given information. Okay, now let us see uh, what we have to do in the next step. So before we proceed the next step, uh, let us see the term here. So here we have three, two terms are added, two different terms are added and we have the whole power 3. So it's in the form of uh, a plus to be the whole cube. So when we come on second, a plus to be the whole cube. So because instead of a here we have uh, 3 to the power 1 over 3 instead of b we have uh, 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. <coughs> so the expansion of uh, a plus to b the whole cube is nothing but uh, a cube positive b cube positive 3 times a times b times a plus to b. So this is the expansion of the identity a plus to b whole cube. So in this problem this is the only trick uh, we apply here. So that is uh, in this step uh, uh, we, are, we are going to apply the identity a plus to be the whole cube. This is the only trick uh, we use in this problem. So to get the to get answer for our question 3x cube negative 9x. So uh, when students are doing uh, this part, uh, this particular problem in uh, competitive examination. Uh, so in this particular step uh, they have to know that they have to apply the identity a plus to be the whole cube. So we just compare our step uh, and the identity a plus to be whole cube. So when we compare our step, I mean this step and this identity, we get uh, a is equal to 3 power 1 over 3 and uh, b is equal to 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. So in this expansion, so wherever we find a, instead of a, we have to apply 3 to the power 1 over 3. Since we have uh, power 3 for a, we have to apply 3 for uh, this one also. So for b we have uh, 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. Since we have power 3 for b, we apply uh, power 3 for uh, 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. Positive 3 times the value of 3 a is uh, 3 power 1 over 3. The value of b is 3 power negative 1 over 3 times uh, 3 to the power 1 over 3 because for a and for b. Uh, 3 to the power negative 1 over 3. 
so I just expanded uh, 3 to the power 1 over 3 I mean I expanded this particular uh, term 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 whole to the power 3 uh, so to expand this term I just use the identity a plus to be the whole cube so this is the only trick uh, we apply in this problem so in the next step uh, we just have to simplify these these terms so uh, here we have power for the first term we have power 1 over 3 again we have the power 3 so this 3 and 3 will get cancelled here 3 3 will get cancelled and here these two bases are same so they are multiplied so we can take only one base and uh, we just have to add the power and for this particular term 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 so instead of uh, writing this term better we can write x so because the value of x is 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 so instead of this one we can write x so I'll show you in my next step let us uh, consider the next step on the next page so here we'll have only 3 here we'll have 3 power negative 1 I'll show you so we have uh, x cube is equal to 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 uh, positive 3 times 3 to the power 1 over 3 negative 1 over 3 times x so I hope now the students uh, can understand this step so because uh, in our previous page uh, on second uh, the previous page I mean here on this page we have uh, 3 to the power 1 over 3 times 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 since the base are same here so for this one for this one the bases are same so I just take only one base and I just add the power and here we have only 3 and here we have 3 to the power negative 1 and for this one I take x because the value of x is 3 to the power 1 over 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 so I hope now the students uh, would be able to understand the, the step what I have done on the next page just give me a moment uh, I'll just move to the next page here x cube is equal to 3 positive 3 to the power negative 1 can be written as 1 over 3 uh, positive 3 to the 3 times 3 to the power uh, 0 times x and uh, x cube is equal to 3 positive 1 over 3 so the value of this 3 power 0 anything power 0 is 1 so 3 times 1 will be 3 and 3 times x will be 3x now uh, I'm just going to add uh, this fraction to this 3 and uh, 3x so to add this fraction what I'm going to do is I'm just going to multiply this 3 by this denominator 3 and also I'm going to multiply uh, this 3x by this denominator 3 so after having multiplied I'll be getting uh, 3 times 3 will be 9 because 3 times 3 positive 1 3 times 3x will be 9x then 3 has to be uh, taken as a common denominator so we get uh, x cube is equal to 10 positive 9x over 3 so this is this is the step we have on this page I mean this is the last step uh, I'll just continue the next step uh, on the next page please give me a moment so we have uh, x cube is equal to <coughs> one second <coughs> 10, 10 positive 9x over 3 so to simplify this one I am just going to multiply by 3 on both sides because uh, I just want to get rid of this denominator so when I do so 3 3 will get cancelled so we get 3 times x cube will be 3x cube is equal to 10 positive 9x actually the target of the question is uh, to find the value of 3x cube negative 9x so I'm just going to take uh, 9x on both sides when I do so positive 9x negative 9x will get cancelled so 3x cube negative 9x is equal to 10 so the value of um, three x cube negative 9x is 10 so when we see the problem uh, it seems to be difficult but uh, 
uh, I just applied a trick. Uh, a trick is nothing but the identity. That is a plus to be the whole cube. I just applied the identity in this problem and I expanded the term 3 to the power 1 over 3 uh, plus 3 to the power negative 1 over 3 whole to the power 3. Uh, I just expanded and I simplified. When I simplify all the steps, I just get the answer. So what I needed. Uh, actually, in the given question, the value of x was given. Uh, I just take power 3 on both sides in the given information. The reason is, uh, in the question, we need the value of x cube. So that is the reason in the information x, I just take power 3 on both sides. I hope now the students can understand uh, how to do this kind of uh, problems on indices. Okay, students, uh, for more videos like this, please visit www.onlinemathforall.com. Thank you.